These are the button functions on the smart level. Of course, we have the power switch, which turns the level on. When the level comes on, you'll see the version firmware right at the bottom. Then we go into our readings. The power button will scroll through inches, fractions, tenths of an inch, centimeters for the first 30 seconds that it's on. After that, the power button will not change the readings until you turn it off and turn it back on. The reason for this being, we don't want to change the readings by someone accidentally bumping the power switch as they're moving the level from one location to the other. As you saw when I turned the level on, we have a zero and a backlight both built into this. We simply hold this down to zero the level. We have Bluetooth connectivity. So you hold the zero, tap power for the Bluetooth. You'll see the Bluetooth icon come on. And we have a range function. So we hold the power, tap the zero for the range function. And you see right now I'm setting the range. I'm gonna set it at one half of an inch. You see the green light when we're in range and you've got a few seconds to set the range. After that, the range will lock and you'll see it displayed down here by my thumb. Now, if you raise it above that range, you'll get a blue light. If you lower it below that range, of course, you'll get a red light. This is very useful for setting grades such as uh, subgrades for concrete, uh, base gravel, dense grade, uh, leveling uh, trenches, ditches, etc. You don't have to see the readings and you don't have to have someone do the math. They can simply look at the range. Of course, to turn the level off, the level will go off itself in about uh, 20 minutes if it hasn't been moved or you haven't adjusted the buttons. Uh, when you turn it back on, it will come back on in exactly the same location that it went off. And you can manually turn it off by simply holding the power button down.